What's up party people? My name is Daryl and today I'm going to show you all how to add the social login feature to your WordPress website. Now if you guys are running especially a e-commerce website, uh, the social login is an amazing feature and most websites today have login via social network. I'm sure you guys have seen that on tons of websites because it's really fast, it's easy, and it doesn't have that complicated process of having people having to you know, sign up with email and everything else. So today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can add login via social network. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in learning how to make an e-commerce website, uh, I have a full tutorial on it, actually a tutorial on this specific theme. Uh, it's an amazing tutorial I have with e-commerce. Uh, the site is just beautiful, it's simple, it's amazing. So uh, I have a full tutorial on it. It's actually the number one selling uh, WooCommerce theme on the planet. So if you if you guys aren't using it, I, I would advise to maybe watch that tutorial and check it out. It's really amazing. Uh, but for most of you who want to learn how to add the social login, I'll show you right now. I'll go ahead and shut up and show you right now. So uh, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of it and then see if this tutorial is for you or not, or if you wanna add it to your website, which you should. So I go to sign up right here, and this is where people can log in on my account. Now right here on the left side right here, it says log in with your social ID. So right here, I'm gonna click on log in with Facebook and it's gonna go ahead and log me in. And now I am logged in via Facebook. So instead of having all that annoying, you know, check out or, you know, check your email and you don't get it, it ends up in spam, uh, this way is much quicker. So um, I'm gonna show you today how to add this to your website. Now, um, it was pretty fast right there. Usually it'll like take them to a page where it says like, you know, uh, so-and-so wants your information, you wanna log in, you click okay, it brings you here. And also when visitors log in, it'll, you can take them like to any page you want. So you can take them to your shop page, your account, your blog, wherever. Uh, I made them go to my account page because uh, that's more ideal. So uh, you guys will need a plugin for this and you'll need to create a Facebook app, but not to worry, it's literally a bunch of copy and paste. It's really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out right here and let's go to my WordPress dashboard because this is actually my personal uh, ego or personal Facebook, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Facebook account, I don't want to use that. So right here, I'm going to go to wp-admin and I'm going to go to login. So yeah, you guys don't have it, you guys should get it, you know? So the plugin we will need is called Super Socializer. So right here, we're going to go to Super Socializer. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. And it's this one right here. And guys, I use tons of plugins. I use like Nextend, I use all these other ones and none of them worked. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, how come I get all these plugins and none of them work? Uh, this one works, it works really, really good. And it also has like social sharing, social comments, and you can like share stuff. So if you guys get in like an argument with like comments, you can like show it on Facebook or whatever. It's pretty funny, you know? Uh, so right here, I'm gonna go to Super Socializer and go to Social Login. Now they also have social commenting and social sharing. But for most of you, you probably just wanna learn how to use the social login feature. So I click on social login and we're about to this page right here. Now guys, all you have to do is just take your Facebook app ID and then just copy it and paste it. That is it. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna go to Facebook or Google and we're gonna go to uh, Facebook app, social login, anywhere. And you'll need to go to a website that looks like this right here or we have developers.facebook, that's really all you need. So developers.facebook.com. And these give you like documentation, but you guys can just go to like to developers.facebook and then you'll need to actually sign up. So uh, once you guys are actually logged in via Facebook, on this top right here, it'll say my apps. Now right here, you can go to add a new app. Now, I think that's probably the only way you guys can actually log in. Yeah, it is. So uh, right here under my apps, go to add a new app. And remember, you must be logged in to Facebook already for this to work, okay? So right here, display name. And also, this might change in the next two months, three months, four months. If you're watching this tutorial right now and it's not there, uh, just Google on how to get there because it always changes and I have no control over that. So it can be very frustrating, trust me. Uh, right here, I'm gonna put display name. I'm gonna put um, Flatsum. Flatsum. And go to create app ID. And we have all this, you know, these are getting like harder and harder. These are getting really annoying actually. I can't stand these things because even when I think they're right, they're not. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, I just want to use the website, you know? So right here we have Facebook login. So right here, go to set up. All right, and I want it for a website, okay? So go ahead and enter the URL of your website. So I'm gonna put flatsomtutorial.com and go to save. 
and continue. And we don't need any of this stuff because this is really complicated code stuff and we're not gonna use that because we have the uh, plugin. So I basically did all that mumbo jumbo. Now I've actually already created the app. So right here, let's go to dashboard right here. And I have various apps right here. I have a ton of apps, but I'm just gonna use this one right here. If you wanna see a list of all your apps, you guys can go to uh, your little name up there and go to see all apps and then your app should appear. So right here, these are all live, except for this one right here. So I'm gonna go back to my application, and right here I have my Facebook app ID. Just copy that. That's all you have to do right now. And go back and then put that app ID right there. Okay, so go ahead and paste the Facebook app ID uh, right there, okay? But we need to do some other things before we do that because um, it's not gonna work right now. So we have to actually set up some domains and we have to, we have to um, whitelist it. So right here, go to settings. And right here, put your display name. So I put Flatsum, your app domains. So where is this going? Well, it's going on www.flatsum.com. Flatsum tutorial, flatsum tutorial.com. Now you will need to have a privacy policy URL. If you don't have one, just use any URL from your website but you're supposed to have your privacy policy URL and your terms of service URL. So it's up to you if you want to put one or not. Uh, if you don't have one or you're not sure, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my, you know, my, you know, just this for now, let's see. I'll just put my shop in my contact for now. And then right here, I'll put a category and then right here, I'll click on save changes. All right, it is saving. Okay, cool. It's done. So right here, next one you want to go to, we can go to advanced just to see what else. And we don't need any of this stuff. So let's skip that. Let's let's all skip that and go to roles. We don't need any of this stuff either. So next go to alerts. We don't need this stuff either. And lastly, we have app review. Now we will need this. So we need to make this live. So right here, click on yes. And it's going to say like, are you sure you want to make this live? Are you really sure? Just say yes, don't ever look at any warning signs. Just click OK as fast as you can, which is what most people do. And then there you go. So all you need to do now is go ahead and paste that code over there. Make sure your app is live. And guys, give it like 10 minutes. You know, give it like 10 minutes. See if it works. Uh, if it doesn't work, then, you know, that's sorry, but it should work. And um, you guys can always go to the support forms. Uh, take that app ID and then go ahead and paste your Facebook app ID right there and everything should be okay. So once you're done with that, go back to your website, click on save changes, and you should be able to go to your website now and you should be able to log in via social network. So right here, I'm gonna go to log out. Now I'm using my other one right here. So uh, right here I have social login and guys, all I did right here was just take this app ID right here. So this is the one I'm really using. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you guys an example of it just to make sure you guys are, oh, you're not doing it correctly. Um, right here under my social super, that is really nice, social, social socializer. So it's like a tongue twister. So right here under my social login, I have the same exact code. So 2207, 2207, and ends in 57. So it is the same exact code. So I just want you guys to know that I, I am generally using the same exact service. I'm not, you know, hiding anything because some people think I do sometimes in my tutorials and I says, dude, I'm not, <laughs> you know? So right here, uh, let's go to uh, the domain and I'm gonna go to sign up. And then I'm gonna go to log in with your social ID. It's logging in and voila, awesome. There we go, okay. Now also, if you guys want to go, I think there is a section where it can take them to a specific part of the uh, page right there after they log in. I believe it's somewhere here. I think they changed it. So it's really hard to find out uh, where exactly that goes, but usually it goes to the my account section. So you guys can actually have fun um, looking through all this stuff. And um, you know, if you wanna get more advanced, you know, you guys can uh, contact the development team, but um, generally uh, this should work for your website just fine. Okay, so I hope this was helpful guys. Uh, again, if you guys want to learn how to make an e-commerce website from scratch, uh, using the flat sum theme, I'm telling you, it's an amazing tutorial. Um, it's just, it's amazing. So if you guys are running an e-commerce website and you kind of want to step it up and use a really um, beautiful uh, e-commerce theme, uh, I recommend this one right here, okay? 
So again, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I um, hope this was helpful, and I will see you all later.